Hey everyone, so a professor from Florida International University has argued that Beauty and the Beast is filled with a quote, toxic masculine capitalism, end quote. So instead of deciphering what that means, as I'm not sure what capital, the means of production, or profit has to do with genitalia, instead I'm going to focus on a few quotes from this person, whose name is Bryant Skoulos, by the way. So Skoulos says society has taught us that, quote, to be a man is to embrace competition, end quote. First off, Okay, so what? Is there anything inherently wrong with competition? Business A lowers their price to outcompete business B, so business B increases their quality to try and remain competitive. It's an oversimplification, I admit, but what is wrong with that scenario? We all win, and the only loser there is the business that can't compete. They'll have to find something else to do. It's a non-utopian progression of society, which is hugely beneficial. This Skoulos guy seems too fragile to handle even that reality, which is frankly, quite sad. Okay, moving on. According to Skoulos, to be a man is, quote, never to be weak or naive, end quote. Okay, again, I fail to see the problem here. This just sounds like good advice. Don't be naive. If you're naive, you'll make mistakes. If you're weak, you're not as capable as someone who isn't weak. Does that mean the world is going to end if you're weak? No, but try and take steps to not be weak and naive, and your life has a much higher probability of turning out better. It's as simple as that. No need to cry over it. Skulos needs to just grow up. In fact, I would give him this same exact advice. Don't be weak and naive, and who knows, maybe he won't get so upset over near-make-believe problems. Okay, so Skoulos also says, quote, to be a man is to be violent, whether virtual or real, especially when it isn't really necessary, end quote. My response to this is pretty simple. No, it isn't. I think we've all known tons of men in our lives. Is a significant chunk of them violent? I know in my life most males are not violent. Maybe this Skoulos guy just hangs around with crappy people. And by the way, it's not that I've never known a violent male, but do you know what happens when someone is violent around me? I make sure they're no longer in my life in any meaningful way. And every other person I've known, both male and female, does the exact same thing. So Skoulos' assertion that to be male is to be violent doesn't seem to apply in everyday life at the very least. In my own life, I deal with men on a constant basis, and I am not consistently surrounded by violence. I barely ever see something violent even occur, so I don't know what planet Skoulos lives on. All in all, this is just another attempt to try and demonize men. That's all this is, nothing more. People like this professor have to make men look like some eternal enemy with with corrosiveness at the core of their being, because if the vast majority of men are decent people, which is the reality by the way, then the chosen victims that must be fawned over creepily by SJWs don't really deserve that fawning as much, now do they? Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks.